Hello, One Young World. What if you found yourself being uprooted from your community, country, and everything you know into the dark webs of human trafficking? Somehow you find a way out, but you are a stranger in a strange land. You are shattered by this egregiously unjust reality. But where do you go without a family, social network, money, or work? Well, if you live in Albania, you don't need to wonder. Because there's a one young world angel by the name of Angela Bruti. She and her empowerment, she and her empowerful team are there to provide help. Angela realized that peace and reconciliation need legs. And people who have been traumatized as her own family had been need rehabilitation. And without that, the cycle of violence proceeds and the cycle of poverty. It is an immense privilege and a source of hope to present to you this angel who's using her light to be to someone what she wished her parents had heard. One Young World, put your hands together for Angela Bruti. My family and I fled Albania after the civil war in 98. We left because it was unsafe. We paid smugglers and were cramped into a van to be transported to a safer country. I remember a man terrorizing a mother. Her nine-month-old baby would not stop crying. He told her to shut up her baby's mouth or he would kill them both. And I was four. I willed myself invisible. I held my breath in fear that if he heard me, he would kill me too. They then threw us out of the van in the middle of the mountains of the Albanian border. They took everything we had, our little money, documentation, our hope. We walked for three days, fearing that each step would be our last. The police would shot or catch trespassers. There were bears and wild animals too. We took a boat to an island, but we lacked documentation, money, the local language. When we arrived, we were illegals and easily exploitable. And there, my parents became trapped in modern slavery. We lived in a basement room with no windows. From 5 a.m. to midnight, I would be left alone as my parents worked upstairs in the hotel. I stopped speaking. I was traumatized, shocked, silenced. Human trafficking generates $150 billion a year. This causes lifetime harm to millions of victims, with over 40% of refugees worldwide being children. The lifetime damage is huge. My family eventually escaped that hotel, but as I grew up, I struggled with the emotional damage of living there and fleeing my country. I struggled to make sense of my past and reintegrate with my peers. 
and I saw how other exhausted survivors struggled too. Their past experiences had robbed them of their energy and dreams. I saw their inability to articulate their wants and needs. And I saw organizations failing to find survivors sustainable employment, with many placed in low-skilled, ill-suited jobs. And I felt inspired to help. In 2016, I found it empowerful to support survivors of human trafficking in Albania reclaim, define, and fulfill their own potential. Empowerful works on self-esteem, assertiveness, and setting boundaries. We challenge the victim narrative, reclaim the individual, reestablish dreams, and then look to economically empower. We do this through training session and the provision of sustainable employment opportunities. Since 2021, we have delivered four eight-week courses and supported 40 survivors. <clears throat> I will never forget the eyes of Drita in her first workshop, her posture, her empty tone, her fear of daring to dream. She was tricked and trafficked by her husband abroad and forced into prostitution. Only when her husband died did she escape and return back to Albania. We helped her remember and enact her dream. Today she runs a small tailoring business. She's independent. She lives in a safer area, in a house free from mold. She can pay for her rent and take care of the needs of her son. But most importantly, she has dreams she can vocalize and the power of this world to make them come true. <clears throat> Walking across the mountains 20 years ago, I never dreamt I would be speaking in this room today. I now ask you to help. We need to create all together sustainable employment opportunities and safe spaces in our communities for survivors of modern slavery to build and sustain lasting peace. Thank you. <clears throat>